Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to access the Windows 10 Safe Mode in order to help repair problems you might be having or experiencing on your Windows computer. So in this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to access Safe Mode. And while there are many different troubleshooting methods available to fixing various issues you're having on your Windows operating system, if you're just looking how to get into Safe Mode and some basic troubleshooting tips I could recommend, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to start by going over two different ways to get into safe mode if you're able to get into the Windows operating system. So the first one would be if you open up the star menu and you typed in msconfig any best match you left click on system configuration and now in the, the system configuration window you want to go over to the boot tab left click on it and then any boot options left click inside the safe boot area and then you want to select network and then you would click on apply and OK. You want to exit without restart but in your case you probably would because I want to show one other way of doing it without having to go through that and that would be just to open up the start menu and then left click and hold down the shift key while left clicking on the power icon and then left click on restart so just hold down the shift key while your computer is restarting this is a second method on how to do it and I recommend trying that one first if that one does not work, I'd recommend then going through the system configuration method that I showed first in this video. So when you choose an option, you want to left click on the troubleshoot tile, reset your PC or see advanced options. Now select advanced options again. And now you want to left click on startup settings, change Windows startup behavior, and then left click on the restart button. Again, you will receive the same screens with whichever method you choose to pursue. Okay, so for startup settings, you want to tap on whatever the enable state mode of networking option is, which in our case it's F5. So I'm going to tap F5. I would recommend that you look and see which one it is before you select it. And when I say F, that means it's one of the function keys at the top of your keyboard. Don't just type the letter F and then the number 5 at the same time. That's not correct. There actually is a key, the function keys. Okay, at this point you want to enter in your computer password. And okay guys, so now that we're in safe mode, there's quite a few different troubleshooting tools you can have at your disposal here. So Microsoft will try and open up a web page saying that you are in safe mode like we didn't already know. And if we close out of here, I would recommend just doing this as a good first step just in case you forget later on. We're going to turn off safe mode. We did the first method we showed in the video. You want to go back in the start menu and type in msconfig. Underneath best match, select system configuration. Now underneath the boot tab, uncheck safe boot, and then click on apply and OK. And I'm going to exit without restart. The reason why we just did this is because your computer is going to start into safe mode every time your computer turns on if you went through that method and you did not just undo what we just did. So just want to put that out there. But now that we're in safe mode, there's quite a few different things we can go through. 
First one I'd recommend would be to go online and if you're having any problems with viruses or malware, I'd recommend downloading some antivirus engines or running a scan if you have an antivirus already on your computer. Windows Defender should be built into the Windows 10 operating system, so I'd recommend running the scan with that one as well. And if you had any other scanners, there are plenty of them online, so you don't have to listen to me just list off a whole bunch of them, but there should be a bunch of free ones that should be able to resolve if that's the issue you're experiencing. If you believe it's a recent program you've installed, you can always open up the start menu and type in programs and features. And one of the best matches should say add or remove programs. You want to open that up. And now and now in this apps and features list, if you want to remove anything, you just want to left click on it and then select uninstall. So if you have any recently installed programs, I'd recommend uninstalling them through here. You want to type in recovery. And recovery should come up right above control panel. Left click on that. So now you want to open up System Restore here by left clicking on this Open System Restore hyperlink. And if you had any System Restore points already made on this computer, they'd be listed here. And I'd recommend going back to the most recently created System Restore point available to you guys. And then restore your computer back the old fashioned way, which is a pretty standard and clear cut way of doing it. So that's another method I recommend trying. And at this point, you can really go in your own direction. It doesn't really matter exactly what I'm saying. If you know what your problem is, this is the opportunity and the environment to resolve it in. So I just want to put that out there. So in order to get out of safe mode, you just would shut down the computer and like you normally would. And next time you turn on your computer, you should be back in the normal Windows operating system. So I do hope this brief video was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I will catch you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.